So the testing grounds are now live and everyone can get their hands on it right now. You don't have to download a separate client or anything. It should be sitting there right where the event playlist is as it basically works like an event. So if you've got the time, load up for honor and check it out. Anyways, in this video, I just want to talk about the testing grounds for a little bit. There was no Warriors Den today, so there's no recap. It also looks like there was no blog post either. I'm not sure if I missed them mention that there wouldn't be one or if they just straight up forgot. But I'm pretty sure the only news for today would have been that there's a new sale. It's the back to school sale and there's a whole bunch of stuff on sale right now. I'm pretty sure I saw just about every category have something on sale. Although a lot of it is like older stuff, base finishers and emotes and whatnot. And then the other news would have been that the testing grounds released today and probably something about the new event order and arcade quest. Anyways, testing grounds. I'm surprised. It actually works. The game mode itself works. Out of all the games I've played today, I haven't experienced any problems. So that's a good thing. It works just like anything else. Head down to the testing grounds, pick either duel or dominion and get playing. Very quick, very simple and you get to wrap up your heroes and whatnot. It's really nice and I'm hoping that they do more of these. You may wanna hop on ASAP though, as the activity is already starting to drop. Now today I've fought almost exclusively Centurions, Warlords, and Gladiators. That was to be expected as everyone wants to try these heroes out. I've played like almost nothing but Centurion today, so he's who I'll mainly be talking about. Again, I'm not going to go too deep into it because, well, it's day one of the testing grounds and everyone's still trying to figure things out. It really is a shame that there's no way to test anything at all with a friend in customs or anything like that without having to snipe each other and back out of so many lobbies. It does suck for the people who are just trying to play. They've got to deal with possibly waiting five minutes or so just for me to back out and re -queue so I can end up in a lobby with a friend. There's not even a choice to play duels against the AI either. Hopefully, the next time UB brings us the testing grounds, we'll have some way to play around with things without being in a matchmaking game. Anyways, I do think that this version of Centurion is pretty fun. When your opponents aren't constantly trying to back up and roll, when an opponent isn't trying to do that, the combat loop is pretty enjoyable. It is fun to punch people around and you can land these punches a lot more often for now. People are catching on to back dodging and rolling already. I didn't see much of it this morning when this footage was recorded. This was like my second game of the day and some things were just flying right over my head like the parry counter. But here in the afternoon, I've been having a tougher time keeping people in my grasp. I didn't play a lot of Centurion before today, so he already felt like a T-Rex, but the running away with no way to reliably catch someone doing that was just highlighting it for me. Sometimes opponents would just be walking backwards and my heavies would just whiff. But when things are going well, it's really satisfying. I am hoping that once this is all over, they smooth Centurion out a little bit, you know, work out the kinks, because I do think there's fun to be had with Scent. Some things do feel weird, like not being able to land a heavy after a parry counter. Even the parry counter itself feels stiff to me. Again, maybe that's because I haven't played Centurion seriously in a while, but I do wish that the input was a bit more lenient on the timing, because sometimes I'll parry, press guard break, and get nothing. Instead, I'll end up trying to guard break off parry like this is season two or something. Also, it's pretty easy for two Centurions to completely destroy their opponents after they land a charged punch. For whatever reason, the sense can keep a player pinned down in a looping Eagle's Talon punish that will go on until they're done. Doesn't matter if the opponent has revenge or not, they're not surviving four or five Eagle Talons in a row. It was really weird to see something like that pop up nowadays. I also got pinned down by a friendly Eagle's Talon, which I had only ever seen one time uh, in a Twitch clip which is pretty funny. I do like that the charge jab tracks early side dodges. It was something I was worried about, but it works just fine. If they try to side dodge on orange, 
they're getting smacked, which again, feels great. Fainting Punches also works just fine. However, it does feel a little slow to faint a punch and try to go for a guard break right after, at least on jabs that have been charged up a bit or fully charged. To me, it feels like there's a bit of a delay. On an uncharged jab, it feels fine though. You can delete opponents if you catch them with the right combo of punches, grabs, and throws. It is a shame that the little punches after you guard break someone doesn't do any damage with Haymaker though. I think that would have been nice to have now. Last thing I'll say before I stop blabbing on about Scent is that I do wish the kick was a little better. It still hardly lands and isn't too much of a threat. I do think that after this is all said and done that they should speed up the kick just a little bit. Overall though, without going too deep into it, I do like Centurion. Uh, time will tell if I get tired of playing him, as technically, he isn't doing anything we haven't seen before. You know, we've seen feignable bashes and charged heavies. I know for a fact I'll play him more than I played, say, Hidokiri, but I'm sure I won't have the same level of excitement, but that's honestly how it is for every hero in For Honor. Anyways, that's all I've got for this video, a short one today as I really don't want to say too much until we figure out more of what's going on, but I did just want to throw out my opening day impressions, so keep in mind that things could change. I'll spend the next day or two trying out Gladiator and Warlord as well, so I'll probably upload another video within the next couple of days. I do want to hear what you guys think though, so talk to me down in the comments and tell me what you think so far. Especially the longtime mains of these heroes, I want to hear what you think about them after their changes. And as always, if you like the video, feel free to leave a like and sub if you're new, and I will talk to you guys in the next video.